Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Monday. Happy on Monday. Hope you had a great Easter. We're back to the grind now, back to, back to living our purpose, hopefully. Back to uh, trying to be the best version of us possible, hopefully. Trying to get better every day of every, of every week, of every month, of every year, hopefully. Right, so guys, today I'm going to remind you, first and foremost, of my speaking seminar. Hey, Jerry. Uh, next Saturday, or this coming Saturday, 8 a.m., I'm going to do my very first live and streamed BTY workshop, right? I'm going to give you all the secrets, right, that have helped me be successful in many areas of my life. Not perfect, uh, but successful. Football at a high level. Finance director at a high level. Some would think those are the opposite ends of the spectrum, right? Then I left all that behind. And, and begun a new venture, a new passion, my real passion, I think now, and that's bringing fitness and now motivation through fitness to people I love and care about, all right? So Saturday, 8 a.m., if you're in San Jose, come in person, right, live and, live and large, large and live, or uh, well, I'm gonna stream it, right? So you can watch it from wherever you are, 8 a.m., go to my, my Coach Bobby page on Facebook uh, for all the details. Uh, I'll try to remember to provide a link here. All right, so real quick, guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of a uh, behind, the, behind the curtains as to how I think. All right, so it's Monday afternoon, just got home in my garage, kind of kind of walking around, uh, getting ready to pick my kids up from their activities, play my Uber, Uber role as dad. Uh, but this is kind of where it started, right? This is kind of where it started. You know, my home gym, if you go back, go back to my videos, on YouTube from about four or five years ago, uh, 2013, 2014, I was in here doing my videos, right? Before I moved to my other, my first location and then my current location. Uh, but many of my stuff was done here with a laptop camera and a regular camera, not even a HD, you know, iPhone like I'm doing now. So it all started here before I even knew what I wanted to do with it. I knew I loved training. I knew I loved helping people. I knew I loved fitness. Um, I hoped I could find a way to make it all work, um, but I didn't know. All I knew was I, I wanted to move forward and walk toward something I was passionate about. So this is where it started, right, Teresa? So I still come in here occasionally and get a workout in on the weekends or when I'm you know, pressed for time and can't get one in at my gym. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make, guys, is many of us get caught up. We get caught up in the, in the specifics of what we're going to do, in the specifics of how we're going to do it. Whatever your dream is, right? Lose 20 pounds, you know, get an get a advanced degree in school, start a business, uh, build a relationship with your spouse or your kids, um, you know, be a better speaker, be a better salesman, whatever it is, right? We get caught up in, in all the details and we go to seminars and we buy books and we, and we go to, we buy courses and we, and we research and, and, and get on every new diet and we try to find, you know, what, what's the best workout when at the end of the day, most of it has nothing to do with X's and O's. Right, that's a football term, right, or a basketball term. Winning the game of life, winning the game of chasing your, your dream has very little to do with the playbook, very little to do with the X's and O's, right? Oftentimes, as I, told, as I tell my son's team, oftentimes it comes down to this and this, Right? It's not about what play I draw up for you. It's not about what diet I give you. It's not about giving you the right sales advice, giving you the right techniques, the top five selling, selling points. No, it's about this and it's about this. Most of the time, like 95% of it is about this and about this. I played football at UC Davis, not because I was super fast. In fact, I was never, I tell my son all the time, I was never Never, ever the best player on my team growing up. Never. Not in, not in elementary school, not in middle school, not in high school. 
right? But but I knew I wanted to be better. I knew I could be better. I knew I could be great if I just put enough time on task, right? I was never the smartest kid in my class. I was never considered gifted intellectually. But what I knew is I could study more than somebody. I knew I could grind more than somebody. And unlike most of the people I went to high school with, I got a, a master's degree, an MBA in finance, right? So it's not about having the right tools all the time. It's about the right mindset most of the time. It's about the right heart in the right place most of the time. That's it, right? I have a saying that, that being fit, and it applies to whatever you're trying to do, lose 50 pounds, build a business, be the top salesperson in your company, whatever it is, grow, climb the corporate ladder, whatever your goal or dream is, it's the same concept, right? I always say that being fit has less to do with physiology, physiology and biology and chemistry Right, how your body reacts to certain things, how the muscles move. It has less to do with all that physiology, biology, and chemistry. It has more to do with psychology and sociology. That means how you think and how you surround yourself with the right environment. That's going to get you fit faster than any cookbook, any workout ever will. Right, so I didn't get here in life. I didn't, I, I didn't get to where I am at 46 and potentially the best shape of my life, even after playing college football. I didn't get it because I know some magical formula about fitness or about diet. I have some tools that I've learned. I've learned some secrets and some tips, but I didn't get here on secrets and tips. Trust me, I didn't, I didn't earn my MBA on secrets and tips. I'm not building this brand this, this speaking brand, this fitness brand on tips and secrets, right? I have some, I'll give you some, but I didn't get here because of that. I got here because I grind. I got it because I want it. And so in my seminar, my BTY seminar, that's what I'm going to teach you. That's what I'm going to give you, right? The soil under the tree. Right? The soil under the flower. I'm going to give you that. I, I, I'll give you the seed to plant. I'm going to give you the soil. Right? So you can go home and plant that seed into the right soil. Right? Because you get a seed, right? The, the seed is important. Right? The seminar on sales, the right workout program, the right diet, the right advice or book on, on building relationships. All that stuff is important. Those seeds are important. But if you put that seed in some bad soil, it won't grow. I'm going to give you the seed, right? Andrea, she's known me since I was 15, 14 years old. A snot-nosed kid at Seaside High School, right? She'll tell you, I didn't get here because I was gifted. I didn't get here because I was big and strong back then. I got it because I took the seeds that I accumulated over time, all those seeds, the workouts, the books, the seminars, the courses, all those seeds, I put it into the right soil. I have my heart in the right place. I have my mind in the right place. And so if you think about it, those people who are better than you right now at sales, at, at, at fitness, they ain't better than you. They ain't different than you. Right? And so you can have what they have. Right? If, and, and if you can't, if, if you are academically challenged and can't learn, why do you keep going to the courses? Because you know you can learn. Right? If, if you have something inside of you physiologically to where you can't lose weight, why do you keep trying diets and keep trying workouts? Right? You know that you have the exact same makeup physically that that girl has or that guy has. The difference is that seed that you have, that they have, they put it into the right soil. You didn't. They put it into fertile soil and you did it. And so, yes, I'm going to give you guys tools along the way to get better, to get fit, to be strong, to get lean. Tools to help you speak better that I'm going to learn, hopefully. Right? But the key is I'm going to help you guys learn in my BTY course how to put that seed into the right soil so it grows. So you value it and take care of it. Right? That person ain't no different than you. 
We keep, we keep trying diets and we keep going, going, to, going to seminars and buying books and doing all these things to be better at sales, better at fitness, better at, at relationship. We do all this bullshit without fixing the soil. Go to all these stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, buy all these plants and come back to our house with this badass soil and put that shit into the wrong soil. Fix the soil. Fix the soil. That's the key. That's the secret. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm fit at 46. That's why I played football for 13 years. High school and college. Had some pro tryouts. That's why. That's why I earned the NBA. From one of the better schools in the country. That's why. Not because I know some magic. Or went to some secret school. Or secret course. Or some secret diet. No. My, my soil is fertile. Right? I learned from an early age about that. Right? I, I, I surrounded myself with great people. First and foremost, my parents. Right? I leaned on God. I leaned on God to this day to guide me and teach me. But the soil I have is fertile. Right? The way I think is fertile. Right? My heart's in the right place. My mind's in the right place about whatever I want to do in life. So my daughter and I have a relationship that's positive, but it ain't because I know some magic. Or read some book. That's the seed. But I put it every day into the right soil. And I cherish it. I value it. Right? I'm fit. I'm fit at 46. I'm going to be fit till I'm 70. At least. I don't have no secrets. I mean, I have some secrets. But they, 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 ain't, they, they ain't why I'm here. They ain't why I'm here, Coy. Right? When they ain't why I'm here. I'm here because I put my shit into the right soil, right? My mind's in the right place all the time about workouts, right? My, my heart's in the right place all the time. Ask Jason, right? He's at my corporate account. My heart's in the right place all the time. My soil is fertile all the time. That's why I'm here. And so I'm going to teach you guys in my course, my BTY course, the five steps that you have to go through. You have to go through them to get to your goal, your dream. Whatever it is, lose 50 pounds, build a relationship, build a business, grow your sales, right? Climb the corporate ladder, 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 whatever it is. Whatever your dream is, these five steps are critical. And what happens is we're missing the first couple of them, right? The first couple of them, we're missing them. We're trying to skip steps. And that's not how it works. Right? We keep trying the same diet over and over again. We keep trying different workouts over and over again. We read every damn book in the world. We keep going to seminars and wonder why that person who I'm smarter than, who I'm better looking than, who I speak better than, why they're losing weight, why they're getting sales, why they're advancing in their career, and I'm not. Because they're fertile soil. They have fertile soil. They do this right. They do this right. So I'm going to teach you guys, Saturday, 8 a.m., Saturday, 8 a.m., I'm going to teach you guys the five steps that I use my whole life. I use my whole life to play football at a high level, to earn an MBA, to build a career as a CFO, even though I had no business being a CFO. Back-to-back -back startups both got acquired in large part because of what I did in the finance department. That I left that behind and started a business in fitness five years ago, and I'm still here. Five steps. And now I'm doing it again with my speaking career, right? And while I was afraid to present these five steps, knowing that I had not yet grow, grew my, my speaking business, now I know for sure that those steps are, are accurate. For sure those steps are legitimate. Because now I'm seeing in my five steps, in the five steps, as I apply them to my speaking career, where I need to work on them. And I'm being as honest with myself as I'm going to be with you guys and where you're at in your goal to lose weight, to build a business, to build sales, to be the best version of you possible. Honest with you, honest with me. The whole time. It's the only way to get better. It's the only way to get better. All right? So Saturday, 8 a.m., Saturday, 8 a.m., right? In San Jose, live, in person. I can touch you, push you, punch you, not punch you, push you, motivate you in person, right? Or streamed. 
Either way, we're trying to get better, guys. BTY, better than yesterday. Five steps to greatness. Join me on Saturday, and let's begin doing it the right way for once. We tried the wrong way for years, some of us. How many times have you tried to lose weight? It's more than one, I know for sure. So between one and 100. How many times have you gone to a seminar to increase your sales, if you're a salesperson? How many books have you read to build your career? How many times have you talked about, I want to I wanna, I wanna raise, I shouldn't be where I'm at, I want to change? How many times are we going to do that before we change? Right? Before we change. How many times? So let's try it the right way. Right, Mike? The right way. The right way is let's go through the steps, the five steps to greatness. The first two, I'm telling you guys, you're going you're gonna to have an aha moment and realize that you've been skipping the first two steps or not addressing them, which is why trying to get the tools and the seeds before the soil, soil is fertile is a mistake. A mistake that we can fix. Right? And we will fix. All right? So Saturday, come out. Saturday, 8 a.m., April 27th. Right, go to my Facebook page, Coach Bobby. I'll provide the link here as well. But you got to come out. You got to you got to give the right way a try. Right, I, I I have not failed yet applying these five steps. Not yet. Football successful, NBA successful. Right, CFO successful, being fit to my late forties successful. Now I'm doing it again, guys. I'm doing it again. Building a career as a speaker for my whole life. I was afraid to speak. Five steps. Five steps to greatness. If you apply them, you will be great. And whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. So let's get after it, right? Saturday, April 27th, 8 a.m. Check Coach Bobby Facebook page and let's get going. All right, guys, have a great week, a great Monday. Let's get after it, guys. We can be as great as we want to be. Simple as that. That girl or that guy who's great ain't no different than you. If they can have it, why not you? Right? If they can have it, why not me? Ask yourself that. If they can have it, right, a lean body, a successful business, a great career, a great relationship with my husband or wife or children, if they can have it, why can't I? Why can't you? And the answer is, there is no reason. There is no reason. All right? So, Mike, I'm going to hit you up, man, for that boot camp stuff. Get you on virtual for sure. All right, guys. Have a great Monday. Uh, get some work in. Get some thinking in. Get that heart right. Right? Get that heart right. Get that mind right. And let's go get it. All right, guys. Have a great week. Love you guys. BTY.